This morning, Senator Menendez vowing to stay in office and fight. I firmly believe that when all the facts are presented, not only will I be exonerated, but I still will be the New Jersey's senior senator. That defiance, even as New Jersey's governor and some other Democrats call for him to step down. It would probably be a good idea if he did resign. On Friday, Menendez and his wife Nadine were charged with conspiracy to commit bribery, extortion and fraud, charges that could land them in prison for a decade or more. The senator accused of using his influence to help three New Jersey businessmen and benefit the Egyptian government. Here you can see just a fraction of the cash that was uncovered as part of the scheme. The indictment alleges Menendez and his wife received nearly a half million dollars in cash and $150,000 worth of gold bars. Prosecutors also say that the day after the two returned from a trip to Egypt, Menendez searched online, quote, how much is one kilo of gold worth? On Monday, Menendez offering this explanation for the cash stuffed in his closet. For 30 years, I have withdrawn thousands of dollars in cash from my personal savings account, which I have kept for emergencies and because of the history of my family facing confiscation in Cuba. Among the charges, Menendez used his influence as the powerful chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee to secretly help the Egyptian government secure U.S. military aid, even as he was publicly complaining about its human rights record. The indictment also says Menendez tried to get prosecutors in two criminal cases to go easy in exchange for bribes, including this $60,000 Mercedes for the senator's wife. In 2019, he proposed to her in song at India's Taj Mahal. They met in 2018, the same year Menendez escaped conviction after a federal jury deadlocked on separate corruption charges. The Justice Department decided not to retry that case. This time, legal experts say, prosecutors will have to prove that the gifts to the senator were linked to official acts. Senator Menendez and his co-defendants are scheduled to be arraigned tomorrow in New York, where they are all expected to plead not guilty. Savannah. All right, Ken Delaney in Washington. Thanks, Ken. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.